All right, once again, it's a cold one with Corey, and this week we have... Me, Edie. How are you doing? Oh, look at you. You're so cute. I know. So happy to be here. <laughs> I love doing these look things. Big old ass cheeks over there. <laughs> Just so happy, grinning like a pig I know. I'm shit actually right getting, I'm getting some uh, airtime here. I'm so happy. Yeah, you would have got some airtime a couple of nights ago. It wasn't my fault. My oh. cousin came into town. It was Easter, you know, all that stuff. It, Easter, what, is that the new St. Patrick's Day? That no, you know what it is? Look, I was a good girl. I gave up liquor for Lent. I was being a good Catholic girl. Mm -hmm. And I let me, let me went tell, out, me, and I had a couple of shots too many. Yeah, let me tell everybody what you did. We're supposed to – I'm sorry we're late, and normally I take the blame on a lot of things, but I'm just going to blame you, Edie. It I, was my fault. I will to, I'll take total blame for this one because – I, because well, you were no, drunk, but, that's why. But you it, know it, what? In my defense, it. you called me at eight o'clock, saying, "Can you be over there at twelve thirty? Okay, but you said, "But the thing yes, is, I you, will. you said I yes." Said no, yes, you I can't did. do it because I'm catching up on stuff from since I've been coming back from New York and everything. I and everything. So I, I said, "Edie, can you come over there?" You're like, "Yes." I just, see, but you asked me while I was drinking, so you know, I'm like, "Hey, I've already had a couple of cold ones." So Edie, now. yeah, exactly. She and told you know, me, it doesn't take much to get me drunk. She had two shots of sparkling water, and your ass just went was gone. It's okay. I hate to bust you out like this, but it's all right. I, I'll take total blame for this. It's my fault. We've all been there, dude. I was drunk, uh, and, and I'd rather be safe than drive all the way to the two million mile away spill studio from my house. I know, and come over here. I live and, up in the hills, you know, and, and you live down here in the valley. And try and do a recording while drunk. I mean, <laughs> I that would have been interesting, but. It would have been funny, actually. I was on my mark that night. Uh, no, you, but the thing is, I, I just didn't want to vomit all over my microphone. <laughs> no, I wouldn't throw up all over your microphone. Hey, look, I knew you threw up that night, but see, I'm going to tell you. No, Whatever. I'm going to tell everybody. Yeah, you did. I'm going to no, tell everybody. I did look, not. Uh, I threw up. I was, uh huh, yeah. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, no, a couple, a couple of uh, months ago when I was up in New York, I was hanging out with these British dudes, right? Uh huh. And those those guys know how to drink. It was a British dude and an Australian dude. Mm -hmm. And they apparently, in the U.K., and apparently in Australia, I mean, in Australia, they drink motor oil or something. Yeah. But <laughs> apparently some, somebody told me, yeah, no, somebody said that the alcohol content is a lot stronger, it's than, stronger than it is. So they can go all night. And I didn't know that. So I'm trying to keep up. And by the end of the night, I was in the middle of the street. Not at, not at home. I didn't even make it that far. I was in the middle of the street throwing up. <laughs> So, Edie. I did not throw up. I just did not feel well, and I didn't think it would be right for me to drive after having three shots of Jaeger. So, all you spillers and, and spillios. I do not what? drink Jaegermeister. It's a bad, bad, bad thing. Whatever. Oops, sorry. Whatever y'all want to be called, spillers or spillios. Uh, it's my fault. Your, your dear Edie uh, uh, was, called me up, and she, bless her heart, she was sitting up here trying to, trying to talk, and she's like, I am so sorry, Corey, that I couldn't be there. But do you know I had the most popular group on Spill? And I, oh, hold I on for a moment. I did have the most popular group on Spill that night. You became a bad image for everybody. And, oh, and then she's like, oh, hold on for a moment, please. I'd like to. Oh, you're such a liar. No, now do you know not that. I stayed on the phone that. to make sure you were okay. Do not say that, Corey. Oh, That's you, a lie. I ain't saying that. But no in my lie. defense, in my defense, I called you the next day and I was like, Corey, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm ready to record. I was asleep. I know, but I was awake. So I couldn't have been that messed up if I was up at 9 o'clock in the morning Girl, saying, come on, let's know. record. Now, you know after Monday, things get crazy with me. I know. And, I, and it's hard for me to do editing. I know, but but I did, in my defense, I called the next morning at 9 o'clock in the morning, bright and early. Corey, let's record now. Wait a minute, hold still. You got a little crust from vomit on the Shut front up, of your mouth. <laughs> I do like my mom used to do to me, lick, lick my thumb. And, Here, let me get that for you. Yeah, I suck whatever. my thumb. <laughs> uh, you can oh, do like okay, that. so everybody. Anyway, so let's go on to it. Yeah. It is my fault that we did not record okay, on Monday we night. That. We got that. It's your fault. And you and think about the children, Edie. I mean, I we, we got a lot of youngsters on here. What kind of image are you putting out there for them? You know what? I just had three shots. I know, three That's shots. That's it. Of... I'm, a, I'm a lightweight. I cannot drink. I, I was not born to drink. I know those uh, 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 those uh, virgin daiquiris you had yeah. <laughs> tore your ass up, <laughs> didn't you? Jaeger is a bad, bad alcohol. Just, I'm wonder... just, just saying that. I'm just, do not do Jaeger bombs. Shirley Temples, boy, they'll kill you. And yeah, even if your cousin's in town from Colorado, you still do not do a Jaeger bomb with I him. Kept trying to, I kept trying to think of Shirley Temple, but the, I kept wanting to say Mary Poppins. For Mary Poppins. <laughs> That's a new drink. You better, <laughs> no, you stay away from those. That'll, I know. Right. That'll kill you. No, you stay away from those, uh, what are the shots that don't, somebody don't, did? Don't, don't worry about Dirty it. Dirty Girl mm -hmm. Scouts. Oh, they got a That's shot called one. Dirty Girl Scout? Yeah, isn't that the one you used to do all the time? No. I, I'm just I'll do a Dirty Girl Scout, but... <laughs> If you can find one, I never had to drink, though. 
And we're talking about a Girl Scout who's uh, of age, of course. And of course, yeah, because there's so many of those. A okay. woman scout. <laughs> a woman scout. <laughs> I'll eat her cookies. Uh, now, anyway, let's, let's, let's go, go ahead, ahead and get into uh Let's talk what about we do. what's really important here. Yeah, now, as you know, we get together to talk about movies and movie-related stuff and anything else that we can think of. Yes. In between. This is just a bullshit session. Yes. And I'm bullshitting with you, Edie, right now. Now, this is how You're we start. You're harassing me. This is how, good. I'm not harassing I'm you. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I got my hand on your ass right now, I but know. I don't think you let me put it there. I know. Okay, <laughs> so here's how we're going to start, Edie. You know what we do every week, right? Yes. We start out with the top five. Top five. And look at you. You, you felt guilty enough to print out the top five. I printed five that out that in. night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, is that what that stain is <laughs> right there? Shut up, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> on this <ugh. laughs> Okay. Jerk sometimes, but okay. I love you anyway. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I, I know you do. So what is number five? <laughs> I love okay. you too, Edie. I know. Okay. Oh, okay, we'll start out with number Man, you're better than Leon. Leon, when he comes in, he wants to start with number one. <laughs> no. You have to build it up. You know, it's spent. You I'm know? trying to get him to do that. You know, he's the kind of guy that has sex with his pants on and then takes his pants <laughs> on after. <laughs> he takes his pants off after he's done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I okay. can take these things off now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the girl that's with him. I know. It's, it's like, like huh? oh, was it in? No, I'm just joking. No, oh my God, about, I can't. I haven't unzipped myself yet. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start with number five. Number five. Uh, in the top five from last weekend, which was what, what, two weeks ago? Because you were late coming in. No, I'm listening oh, with you. Okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stop. Number five yes. is ten thousand BC. That's been out there for a long time, and I can't. That that shows you how many bad movies there are out out there. Three weeks has been up in the top yeah, five. No, and it, so in three weeks we couldn't have come up with something better than. That it's not a bad movie, but I'm saying nothing has moved it out of the way. It's a bad movie, but I, I understand as much shit as I talked about this movie. Mm -hmm. I understand why it's still in the top five because it looks amazing. Yeah. I don't care what anybody yeah. says. That's true. It's an amazing looking movie. It's, it's just pretty. stupid as hell. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh, uh, and then there was somebody out there who tried to get smart with us. Who tried to say, Not, how dare you? Nobody we were talking get about with you. Yeah, no, how dare you? Do you, you know who I am? Do you know who he is? But, yeah, he's great. Now, Edie, you heard us talk about the killer ostriches in this movie, yes. right? And uh, whatever they are. There's some prehistoric bird. And somebody tried to email us saying, those birds did exist and get your facts straight because we hate for you to look stupid. And I'm, Look, <laughs> I know that there was some form of prehistoric bird that existed, okay? Did you have uh, everything guys had with, to evolve from something? But did you have guys with dreadlocks running from them, talking English? I don't think so. No, no, not yet. The fuck out of here with that! I know my history. <laughs> How dare you talk to me? I used to be a paleontologist. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. India, I, that's I'm, not the only thing you were digging for. But anyway, go I'm ahead. The black Indiana Jones. How dare you talk to me <laughs> like that? I know what I'm doing. Shit, fuck you. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> number four is Drill Bit Taylor. It, which, it by the way, uh, yeah, it debuted at number four, which Too I high. knew it was going to be a high grossing film. Didn't expect a lot from it, but I knew it was going to make a lot of money because of the whole Olin Wilson. Olin Suis, Wilson? Who is Owen that? Wilson. <laughs> Owen Wilson, the guy that I tried to commit you said, you said suicide. Wilson. No. Owen Wilson. Sorry. He tried to commit suicide, all that stuff, you know. Well, this is a big movie that he was coming out with okay, afterwards. First of all, it's not. A high grossing movie. It made ten million on opening weekend. Not not a not not a, not not a, a blockbuster, but you know it's still. And so he tried to commit suicide. What 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 is everybody looking for? They go, people like him. Well, I mean, so what? What do people? They think he's gonna like pull a gun on the screen and shoot him no, brains out while watching Drew Taylor. But the Wilson Taylor? brothers, you know, all of them. They're all good actors. You know, Luke. You know, and what's the older brother's name? Michael, Daniel, something I don't know. like that. I don't, I, know. I don't know. They have like that little thing, kind of like the everybody Baldwins. Just knows, yeah, everybody it's just the knows Wilsons Luke. and the Baldwins, you know? Well, everybody just knows Luke and, and, and Owen. That's And I got to say, hey, Luke, boy, you let your, you let your brother kind of jump ahead of you. What you doing, man? <laughs> no. You're doing all these indie films. Your brother's out there making these blockbusters. You better jump on it. I, they're both very good actors. No, they are. They are. I like them. Yeah. I liked them even back in Bottle Rocket or whatever, Bottle Top. Or they like the, the party, too, boy. Oh, yeah. They were here for South Southwest a couple of years ago and and this is no lie look I'm not dropping names because I don't know these guys I, no. I, I know I'm not doing I'm just saying around here in Austin mm -hmm. you see these guys everywhere I'm not even trying to report what? dirt I was at a bar with uh, High mm -hmm. and High was like look Owen Wilson's behind you and, you know he's cool and yeah. like, you look behind you and you're like oh Owen Wilson big deal okay you know I mean he's, he's, he's having a good time too. I don't know. Everybody, you know why? Because he got money. That's why. No, I think he's cute. I think he's cuter than. Hell, if I had a million dollars, you'd like think his, I was cute too. I like too. his little messed up nose. 
Yeah, I know. See, that's he, what it is. It gives him character. I don't want to keep harping on the guy's nose because that's the easy target because it's so but big. No, but, it's no, messed it's, up. It, it's <laughs> been broken several times. It looks he, like it. What, what does he do to break his nose several times? He has two brothers. What do you expect? You know, they were probably fighting in the backyard. Who knows? But you see. If he didn't have millions of dollars and was in movies, everybody would be like, man, that guy's got a fucked up nose. But because he's a millionaire he's, no. and he's famous, everybody See, like, oh, wow, I love his nose now. No, but I, I, maybe it's just me. I have a thing for guys with very unique noses. Oh, I thought you going to say you had a thing for broken noses. No, for unique noses. I like a guy with just, you know, not the run-of-the-mill nose. You like a guy with broken noses? Okay, Edie, what if I did this to my nose? <laughs> Ow! You still don't get a chance. Do you love me now? Um, of course. You don't have to love me. Will you just go to bed with me now? <laughs> you didn't have to do that to your nose, Corey. It was already messed up. No, I'm just joking. You fucking... <laughs> See, mess with me, I mess back. Bitch, no, you... <laughs> hey, <laughs> be nice. Drill, anyway. Drill your bitch no. and keep moving. <laughs> okay, so... Anyway, no, like no. I was saying, but you know he's a good-looking guy. Okay, all right. I'm... Women like him. They'll go see the movie even if it's stupid because okay, of I'm him. I'm sick of hearing about Owen Wilson. He, I don't mm-hmm. want to hear about him no more. Getting all the money and the women. You know, I don't want to yeah, talk about you're him just no more. Jealous. I am jealous. I don't want to talk about him no okay. more. I want to talk about Shutter. Shutter. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I want to talk about Shutter. <laughs> Shutter is at number three. Number three this week, yes. Dead you know how, people in the background. Do you know how much it made? How much? It made just a little bit more than Drill Bit Taylor. It was in a ten million ten million dollar range. Not bad for a movie that was kind of shuffled in with no real intense advertising. Right, right. It it wasn't like popping up on the screen like uh, what was that other one? Jumper. You it, know? Yeah, exactly. Not not you bad. Know, for you didn't have a dead person in the background of on every box <laughs> station. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, look, she's still there. What know, did you do to her? I know they didn't push this movie like they did with Jumper. You know, yeah. you'd be watching TV and Jumper come up. They didn't yeah. have like a ghost come up in the middle of, uh, of your of your programs. But uh, it's not bad for a movie that we've seen five times already. Anyway, yeah. The Grudge and and uh, The Ring and uh, I'm sure there's some other movie out there. Whatever, some... Six Sense, Dead People uh, in the Background, whatever. Well, no, all these not, movies it wasn't have, like that, but you know, all these movies they have the. The, the dead Asian girl or the ghost the ghostly Asian girl with the long black hair mm-hmm. who's popping up out of uh, DVD players and, and television sets come out of your toaster you know I mean yeah, she, yeah. And, and, I, and you I see was, her in pictures well now she's in, coming at your camera you know yeah, I know Man, she's gonna come out my laptop in a minute I, I better, we better help her finish this before <laughs> no, Asian girl come out <laughs> <laughs> but I saw you more but now w- when I was a uh, we, I just posted the review for this not too long ago because, mm-hmm. uh, again, catching up from the New York trip yeah. and all that. So, and sorry about And being, Easter and, and everything. No, no. There's been a lot of holidays in South by everything. No, it's a lot us. of stuff been happening. I know. There's a lot of stuff that's still not up yet. But, but uh, as soon as I put this up, uh, I heard from a friend of mine, actually, who came to the site. And she was, she was kind of upset with the review. Why? Because she was saying, now, here's what you fan people, fanboys and girls are people who are big, uh, who are so immersed into the Japanese culture. Mm-hmm. We don't get that shit over here, okay? She was no. saying that, well, I'm a little, I don't like the review too much because you don't understand. You don't like the whole thing with the Asian girl popping out of everything, <laughs> but over in over in these, these Asian countries, uh, Asian women are seen so strong uh, in certain areas that their spirits are so strong enough to come back and their, their hair symbolizes this or something like yeah. that. It was, it was all about Japanese culture. This ain't Japan, sweetheart, all right? Yeah, I know. I was like, I, there's a whole bunch of things like that with the Mexican culture and, you know, Spanish culture and, you know, the ghost coming up, you know. It, it, no, but I, it, it still doesn't matter. The movie is what it was, you know. Well, when you bring it over here, we don't get a manual telling yeah. us the history of this ghost girl, okay? Yeah. I, I, I just know I've seen several dark-haired bitches coming out of things. <laughs> And killing people. I don't know the history of that. So don't get mad angry, at me. Yeah. Angry women. Strong, angry women. If they get so strong. Well, you know, if you kill someone and she's pissed off enough, she's going to come back and haunt you. I, see, that's not scary to me. I mean. Uh, yeah, I bet. You're going to be in bed. All of a sudden, you see some girl coming up behind you who's a ghost and going, woo, woo, Corey. I'm, I'm, more, of a, I'm more afraid You're of. You're probably like, yeah, come on. Yeah, I, I'll do a ghost. You know, I welcome that. <laughs> come on, please. I'll, I'll, you don't fact, discriminate on any basis. The ghost you? will be trying to get away from me. <laughs> The ghost like, would be come like, back here. yeah. The ghost would be like, shit. I made a mistake. What <laughs> Reverse I, effect. What there. was I thinking? <laughs> come here, baby. <laughs> now, what I'm afraid of is that I don't. I'm not afraid of a ghost coming back and killing me. I'm afraid that the ghost will be a woman and come back and won't shut up talking. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's, it's bad enough when a woman's alive, you know. Oh, so I can, it's like, you're yeah, gonna ghost, piss you can't get rid of people off again. I know. It's that's okay. what I do. I know. It's all right. 
I do too. Sometimes. I mean, I, I mean, I, I people. I, I there's nothing but love behind it. I know. Okay, so let's go. He on really is a nice person. Yeah, I am. Tell people. And, and no, really, honestly, he is. You know, See, I have a lot of respect for Corey. You do a lot of work for this site, and you, okay, although you no, might be a, li- a little short with people and stuff like that, but it's only because you're like busy all the time. Who am I short with? I don't know. Some people, not me, but other people. Listen, what did I do to you? Oh, I heard. How I've many, heard stories. No, I'm just joking. How many times have I been nice? You said, Edie, will you please sleep with me? I mean, I've said I please. <laughs> I would even say thank you if you did it. <laughs> now, if I did it. If you did it, yeah. Okay, so let's go on to number two. <laughs> we have. <laughs> I'm glad oh, you're here. Okay, oh. number, number two, we have Meet the Browns. Meet the Browns. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, Medea. boy. Medea. I love Medea. Tyler Perry ain't letting black people, nobody else, come near his movies until they're released. And they, you don't need to go see his movies because they have a built in audience. I, it would. It would help us so much as critics if we got a preview. Right. But from a business standpoint, he doesn't have to I mean, do he's it. a brand. Tyler Perry is a brand. Yeah. I mean, and and Medea is so big. You know, I love her. I love that character of Medea. I love that character, too. You know, the movies are kind of all the same, but, you know, I love the character. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just you can put her up there doing anything, and I'll still laugh at it because I like Medea. No, you – I will – and that's the key right there. He's locked mm-hmm. on to some real key consistent characters, mm-hmm. and he taps into these same issues that he knows that black people will go see. Really? Yeah, and seriously, I, as, <laughs> as 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 the, the sole representation of the black race here. Yeah? Right here tonight, <laughs> Exactly. Yes. I represent all the black people in the world, even over in Africa. <laughs> I can safely say that Tyler Perry speaks for the people. <laughs> yeah, all the people. <laughs> all the black people in the world. All the black people in the world. Even those little brown people over in Egypt eh, that, are, that are not exactly black but close they're enough, kind of, got kinky hair and they're brown yeah. enough. <laughs> he represents the black and the crispy golden brown people. <laughs> but you know what? His movies are always good. They always have a good message to them. No, you saying you know? they're good they always have a good message. They have a good message. And that I agree with you. And, you know, because, you know, it's. It's about family. It's about loving each other. It's about not putting up with crap, you know. I think, and that's yeah. that's what all his movies are about. Well, and Tyler Perry is. He, you were right about that. Tyler Perry. I think these movies are t- terribly written. Yeah. I oh think yeah. I'm not gonna say they're. Written. I'm not gonna say they're good, but uh, written well. But they have a good message. Yeah, no, he, Tyler Perry, I think he don't even write anymore. I think he has a Tyler Perry script right at 3000 at home. He just presses a button, <laughs> button and prints out, and, and, and insert Medea like, here. Medea is going to do this in this movie. Ding, there's yeah. a new movie. <laughs> uh, as I mentioned, I uh, no, it is a good message, a whole a strong black woman thing and all that kind of stuff. I love that. Mm-hmm. I, I, that we need those kind of images out there. I got an email I'm going to read in context to this. I got a really funny story about when I went to see this movie, but I'll tell you a little bit later. Okay. Oh, man, what, what are we talking about? Number one. Okay, we're going Let's to number one. Let's go to number one. Number one is, wait a minute, hold on, let me, uh, wait a minute, this is spittle, up. spittle right here. <laughs> spittle, I need to scratch off right here. Number oh. one is Horton Hears a Who. Yes, and that Dr. Has, Seuss. That's been up there for two weeks, boy. I know, and it amazes me. Can't nobody fuck I, with Horton. You know, it, I, I saw this movie with you guys, and I never got to actually give my point of view on this one. And do you mind if I say something about it now? Yes, I do. Don't okay. say anything. No, go ahead. Right. Of course. Go ahead. I am so upset with these movies because Dr. Seuss is something I grew up with. And although the animation was really good on this movie. Incredible. They need to stop trying to make these into two-hour movies or even hour-and-a-half movies. These are like less than 100-page books. They're written for kids. And when they add all this Wait, extra hold on. stuff. Hold on. <coughs> Didn't want to interrupt you there. See how polite I am? See, you are no, polite. Please, See, continue. Thank you. thank you, Corey. But no, when they add all this extra crap to it, it just destroys the, the book and the movie for me. You know? And now they're coming out with a Green Eggs and Ham movie. Did you hear about that? Okay, I was... I said that when we did the recording for the last yeah. time. It wasn't in a video review, but if you listen to the raw, uncut audio, mm-hmm. I mentioned that they were going to do a Green Eggs and Ham movie. I'm, and I'd be goddamn if they... And they're going to... Screw that up so bad because I don't know how they make that into a movie. I, I, I still go by this. They need to get the Dr. Seuss books and have them as a double feature. Do 
two half hour films and put a little one in between. Sort of like an anthology then. Yeah. Not, not, no, like, no, just kind of like a double feature, like what they used to do. Wh- like you know. the grindhouse of Dr. Seuss. <laughs> yeah, 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 Dr. Right. Seuss house. Double feature, Dr. Seuss. No. But two you know, times the Seuss. <laughs> but you know how they used to do back, you know. I, I don't know if you remember this, but when I was a kid, some of the Disney films that used to come out, like the Don Knotts ones and stuff like that. I don't they would, uh, What was that one? Um, Don Knotts. Oh, uh, I can't remember the name of the movie, and I loved it. It was the one with Don Knotts and. Um, Man, I don't know about damn about Don Knotts. It, the old, it was the old uh, stuff. You know, this is you know back in the seventies. Okay. okay. I know uh, that shows my age, but it's okay. It's on the side anyway. Yeah, you what like seventy five now? Yeah, I'm, I'm eighty eighty five today. Anyway. You look good. I know, damn. I've, I've held up well. Anyway, but what they used to do is they used to put a cartoon. Like for one of the the, the movies. Yeah. So what you're like saying, the they used to have a feature. And, the whatever. and then they would have a feature that was shorter, and they'd have the cartoon in front of it. So the same thing they could do it with the Dr. Seuss Well, we don't, we don't have that kind of structure anymore. Now, one thing you said, you said this last time. You said that they should take the Dr. Seuss movies, and, or, the, or the books, rather, and maybe they should have made one long movie. Maybe they should have taken one story here, then another story. Kind of like then, four rooms. Yeah, or, exa- yeah exactly. You know. you, you could, the movie could start out with a Dr. Seuss book opening. You go through all the stories. But from a business standpoint, you're saying they should not make these anymore? No. <clears throat> I don't think they should make two-hour movies out of them. They now, ruin them. If I was working at Fox, you know what I said? I'd, I'd say, hey, sweetheart. Uh, for, uh, no, I'd say, sweetheart, uh, $86 million. I know. No, and tell me not to make another one. I know. No, I just think they should combine it just to stay true to Dr. Seuss. You know, because he, he, I mean, that's something I grew up with. Well. You know, and I and I loved every single book. Well, you and Leon child. agree on that. I'm kind of halfway. I see the, I, I don't mind them making a long movie, but I, I. What was the point of having that REO Speedwagon song in that movie? I don't know. I, th- it's all in writing, Edie. Yeah, you can I make know. anything happen with writing. They could have at least picked out a better song to put at the end of it, you know? I'm just sitting up here thinking about how the fuck you going to make a Green Eggs and Ham movie? The book is pretty much... A hundred words, uh, yeah, period. I, I, my name is Sam. I do not like Green, green Eggs and ham. ham. I mean, wh- I will what not the eat f- them on a bus. I will not eat them on, you know, whatever. Green Eggs and Ham, Sam I am. That, how are they going to do movie that? that I know. It's just like the cat in the hat. You know, they came up with that purple stuff and, you know, making... Cupcakes, it's like, did you ever see him making cupcakes in the book? I, I would not eat them on a bus. That's going to be a long-ass bus ride for, <laughs> for this probably movie. probably going to get Donny Osmond to come in. He's with Walt Disney now. <laughs> no, He's going to be singing. They'll get I Miley Cyrus to be in it, and they'll, yeah. they'll have a dance number in the middle of it. They'll, they'll, it'll be like the Lord of the Rings of uh, Dr. Seuss <laughs> movies. It'll have ten different endings. And I'm, I'm going to be, be so damn. upset with that movie. Because I was, you know, although I liked Horton Years of Who, I was just, I found myself bored after a while because I was just, just like, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're ruining this book. Well, I will say this. It looks like they are getting closer to being true to Dr. Seuss in the sense that at least they got the art style down yes. very well. Yes, I that, mean, that they did. One of the things I said from the very beginning, when they, ever since they did The Grinch, I said, just make a totally CG movie. Yeah. And that's what they finally did. So anyway, the hell with Horton here. So he's making money. And don't nobody give a damn we got to say whether we think they should make him or not. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, they... That movie's going to make $100 million before it's over with right. and more. You know, and like I said, there's certain books that should not be messed with and certain books that need to be like the book. Like, oh, I have to say this. I know it's old news, but like the Harry Potter book, the last one, they're making two films out of it just so they can include all the information. Now, make a half-hour Green Eggs and Ham movie. But a half hour Green Eggs and Ham movie ain't gonna make that much money. <laughs> they need to release it in the theater. <laughs> you, uh, you're fired. <laughs> I know. I'm just. You saying, cannot work for may- Corey Coleman Productions anymore. <laughs> oh God, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, but no, but really, make a half hour Green Eggs and Ham, and then put another forty five minutes of what's your next favorite one? Okay, I got you. I got you. you know, whatever. Ain't nobody. Don't nobody care what you the got to low, say. The low. Uh, <laughs> the what's the one that uh, um, I'm Cyrus liked? Uh, Cyrus likes anything. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he likes anymore. So let's move on. Okay. All right. So uh, one of the things I want to bring up here that I had, I actually made an agenda this week. Really? Yeah. You're I was so prepared. I, I was so organized this week. Ooh, Corey. I never kept up with this, and I feel bad. <laughs> but Corey. somebody told us, everybody's been telling me that we were one of the top runners in this Yahoo poll. Yes. What? No. What is this? You haven't seen it. 
Uh, it's no. for <laughs> best video uploads, I think is what the category we're at. Our really? New video uploads. Really? Yeah. And for a while, we were like way, way ahead. And then some guy, I guess, got on the bandwagon and said, hey, Spill's beating me. And then all of a sudden, they went. Some punk ass. Yeah, they went in and got ahead of it. I don't know. Where do we well, stand it's right okay. now? We, Did we win? No, it's, it, it's already done. I, I was told that we got number two. We got two. Yes. Yeah. At, see, and we were number one for a long, long time. And I guess we caused some ruffles because all of a sudden, that other person went. I will Just not change. take this from Spill. I will not. Who are these Spill people? But it, number two is not bad. No, it's for good. For a, a site that hasn't even been out for a year, it's mm -hmm. not, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. uh, officially been out for a year, that is. Yeah. Oh, uh, in there's a, some other good news. We were recently ranked, and I don't know how much it fluctuates, but HitWise. I don't know if you know what HitWise is. Yes, I do. Explain, yeah. to, explain to the people no, what HitWise is. This, I have to tell you this. When you go on Google and you put Spill and then hit I Feel Lucky, Spill.com comes up. I think even when you just go into Google and type yeah, in spill, so, spill comes up. Yeah. So Before it used to be like oil spill and <laughs> something else spill. Uh, spill my seed. Yeah, now, <laughs> now spill comes up as the very top thing. No, and I just I want to commend all those guys in, in London. Andy, there's a, there's a guy in, in London named Andy and, hey, and, Andy, and, and Paul. And, but, Hi, Paul. And, Andy and I have like gone at each other's throats before. <laughs> we've fought. We've been bad at each other, but... Andy is on top of his game, man. Getting and, you hits. And yeah, well, Andy. Andy is Andy is uh, one of the. He's he's the designer. He's the main designer right now for the page, and he's uh, that guy's on top of things, man. Except he knows what he's doing. One thing. And and so as you can see, is everything is optimized and it will uh, popping up. But now you told me about my phone. Put that shit down. What are you I doing? Turned it off. You turned it. Well, why are you it looking at it? Buzzing. It's buzzing. My phone was buzzing. Edie in my just pocket. pulled his phone right out of her ass and looked at it. After she told me. <laughs> it's in my pocket. It was buzzing. I'm oh, it looked like you pulled out your ass. <laughs> oh, God, uh, after you told me to cut my phone off, I, I put my phone is way across the room where I can't even I touch it. I stopped it so you wouldn't hear the buzzing on the microphone. I'm sorry. Well, it's okay. It's all right. It's my Ma cousin checking down for me to see if I'm, no, I'm just joking. Uh, you, your I'm cousin, kidding. I'm pissed at him. You better leave your cousin out of this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your cousin is the cause of you getting alcohol poisoning <laughs> and being laid here. Three uh, shots, and that's now, it. Now, what I was saying was we're, we're ranking on HitWise as number 33. It might have fluctuated. I think we're but, higher now. But at, when we first started out a few months ago, we were, we were like 1,400. Really? <laughs> we, we, we weren't bottom of the barrel. You had to, like, roll the barrel over and look <laughs> underneath the barrel. I think even dig a little hole a little bit to get to us. <laughs> and and now, now, and now I, uh, and I, I'm not saying it's going to stay there consistently, but we are moving up. Yeah, and, no, and we have a lot of members, too. Yeah, no, it's uh, uh, on Hitwise, and Hitwise is, I'm new to all this, Hitwise, is, it, it ranks major sites mm -hmm. in certain categories. Correct. And and as, as far as the category of entertainment sites, we're number, I think it was 36, between 36 and 32. And that put us higher over some major sites. I think we were right below Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb. I mean, we might have been higher really? than, we, but yeah, we, we were higher than, we might have been higher than Yahoo!, and Mo box office mojo, which these are sites that I go to all the time. Yeah, so that's, that's that good. makes me feel I'm not rubbing it in anybody's faces because we ain't millionaires or anything. No, but no. Just, to to <laughs> no, be in that no. position is is no, whoa. that's that's really good. And well, if you see the number of people that join our, the site every single day, I mean we're getting like a hundred people every two days. Yeah, I don't want to no, and people. You know, this isn't a pat. This is not a pat on the back type thing. This is a pat on the back to you guys. No, thank you so much. It's a big thank you to all of you. And it's and just to let you know, for all of you who've come to the site and wondered what direction it's taken, it's actually becoming sort of successful. And listing us as your homepage, where it opens up every time you open up your computer. That's nice. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do. There's a lot of stuff to be done. But yeah, get it, my picture up there. Yeah. Yeah, shut up. Man. It's all about you, Edie, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't you see my site? Yes, it's all about me. Oh, shut up. I'm just kidding. So, I so, just have to harass you about that one. I'm not listening to you. There's no harassment when I can't hear you. La, 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 I know. Hey, but you know what? Speaking of, though, we, we have a lot of – I have to say this real quick, and this is totally changing directions here. But I have to say, welcome to my girls. Did you see our club? Well, good. Bring more women in. Our group, you know, our our female group there, our official Spill Women's Club. Good. Bring them is, in, Edie. We have tons of members there. They're growing every day. Good. Because, you know, before it was like a party where – It was you, a sausage fest. Well, you come into the party and you and, – have you been to the Pete, for the, all the guys out there? Have you ever been invited to a party and, and and you walk in and you, and you say, 
man, where the hoes at? No, okay, maybe not that. <laughs> but where, but where the where, where the girls, man? Where? And so, and you know, and then you go to that one girl in the room, and you say. Hey, look, call your friends. Get somebody over here. And that's what you do, Edie. Get yeah, the girls over here. I, I, that's right. I'm getting my girls get together. Get the ladies over And then tell them to come talk to me when you get, <laughs> when you get them on here. Tell them what, I need to speak to them. No, I mean, it's our official girls them. women's club is open up to anybody who wants to join, but especially to my girls out there. I want them to have a place where they can voice their opinion. And I can let you know what's going on and what the women want. I'm good. That's. I was surprised, yeah. though. I got one thing. I go, tell me what you want me to tell Corey. And they said, start reviewing porn. Women? That's from a girl. That yes. which, which girl is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I do, you'd have to ask me that. I can't remember who put it up. You, I haven't been on my you computer. Can, you forget. I think it was hardcore. Hardcore, I think, is the one that put it up there. Well, you, you she wants her, you to review porn. You tell her to come talk to me personally. Okay. Go what, talk to Corey personally about that. Hey, well, and, uh, and he will be glad to watch the porn with you. Of, of course. And then her, do a review with you about it. Of course, her, her name would be Hardcore. So. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, and the thing is, is that the first porn that we review would probably be ours. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm talking about you and, you and me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that's ever going to hey, happen. You see that light over there, that red light <laughs> flashing? Oh, yeah. The camera's going. <laughs> Did you see that side, the, the one of uh, the groups, speaking of groups, there's one that says, I promise I'll never sleep with Corey. Or, oh, uh, that group's been up there forever, and half those girls <laughs> broke that promise already. So I ain't got nothing to say. But <laughs> this fucking estrogen fest you started with this group, I don't know. It brought it up to the thing, yeah. Mm, whatever. Oh, you fucking broads! I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I, speaking of the new, but the new group page, everything. Do you, I like the way it's set up now. Well, one guy was pissed about the. You new messed layout. up my my page, though. I, I had to go back and redo all the little things. I didn't mess I up anything of yours, all right? I had to reformat my page because then the things were not. Okay, like, all right. Well, right. That's technical talk. But, need... but now, I, but I like it though. No, there's. A, I think it looks great. No, there's there's one guy, Matt Rosen, who just started a group saying. Uh, I, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. I hate this page. <laughs> and it's going to change a little bit more, actually, because a lot of these changes are out of our control. One another, we're, 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 we're paying to be on, a, on another platform, and that platform has a lot of control over how the page goes. Mm -hmm. We have some control over what we do, but it's about 50% goes to them. Content-wise, you have the control. Content-wise, yeah. wise but. they do. I also want to thank, thank Jamie. We have a new con uh, not content manager, but site manager, uh, Jamie. I don't Hi, know if Jamie wants us doing? to mention his name, but Jamie's been doing a real cool job at this. I mentioned Jamie's name one time before, and Jamie was like, oh, man, you mentioned me. That's cool. So I mentioned it again, Jamie. Hey, Jamie, I'll say hi to you, too. Get me some more money. <laughs> me, too. <laughs> get, get you some money, get period. Get some money, period, yeah. <laughs> well, I just peaked right there. Um, so what do we got here on the agenda? Oh, okay. I want to talk about some uh, some of the news that the guys have been writing about, been Are blogging about. Are there any more about. emails first since we're there? I'm going to get to the emails last. Okay. But one of the things that came up this week, and I, <laughs> by the way, I'm going to start a group, speaking of women, I'm going to start a group called uh, Corey Wants You to Fix Me Something to Eat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and get me something to eat. That's my group. <laughs> yeah, you know no, that. Okay. For those who think that I'm being very sexist, mean, I'm being very insensitive to women, there was a story that came out this week. About you? <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, about me. That's that's every week. <laughs> and sensitive stories come out about me all the time. Who am oh, I? Is your feelings hurt? Well, no. It's about Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh. I'm trying to find this right I now. Like her. I I I do too. And I think that I think this is going a little bit too far. I think this was mean. I don't I don't know why. But she in F I think it was F H M magazine. Mm -hmm. Oh, let that, me see. That manly magazine. Damn it! It's off the page where I saw it. I got to I got to do a little digging here, Edie. It's People, okay. be patient with me, please. The basics of it. All uh, right. Sarah oh. Jessica Parker, you might remember her from Sex and the City. Is you might remember thing. her. She ain't gone nowhere. I know. I know. But also, she started off as uh, the lead character in Square Pegs. For oh. those of you who lived in the eighties, you remember that. We half these kids don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> what are you bringing well, they that can up go for? back and they can Google and look at. They, they can watch wanna, episodes of it. They don't want to see that shit. Oh, it was Maxim, not FHM. But it, let me read just a little bit here. Sarah Jessica Parker was devastated when she was voted the world's unsexiest woman by Maxim magazine in a readers' poll, and she said, "Do I have big boobs, Botox, and big lips? No." Do I fit some ideals and standards of some man writing in a man's magazine? Maybe not. And 
am I really the unsexiest woman in the world? Wow. And thanks to Leon for posting that. <laughs> I, I think I, she's pretty. Man, let me tell you something. She she might not look as as I don't want aesthetically pleasing as others. I don't want to even say aesthetically pleasing. She has a unique look. She looks real to me. Yeah. Okay. And for all these guys, I'm just gonna tell you how it is. For all these guys who are writing her in as the most unsexiest woman in the world, writing in this fucking magazine, mm -hmm. if if she walked in a room or they met her in a bar, they they'd be uh, jumping over each other to sleep with her. Oh yeah. Oh you yeah. You fuck they would. Sarah Jessica Parker because I know I would. Jared Jessica Park is she fine is to me. She's so cute, though. I think she's adorable. She's uh, she has that very unique girl next door look, but classy. I just hate it that it's so men are full of shit. And women, I'm gonna tell you, I I I hate to put myself out there because I yes, even I am a little bit full of shit. But at least I'm I'm more that. real than this. I would tell you yeah. that this is unfair. This is the, these oh. men come on, and most of them are the the the. They're the fattest, ugliest man reading these magazines, and they're gonna sit up here and judge Sarah Jessica Parker, knowing that they be they would be so lucky to have her. Yeah, it, they would they would be lucky to have her looking at look look at them and it, they would be lucky to have her, her look in their direction. Yeah, I agree. You know, I mean, and like I said, everyone is beautiful in their own way. There's something beautiful about everybody out there. Okay, Even that ain't. Let's not go too that, far. That ain't you know, true. I, well, I, that's <laughs> what I believe. I'm sorry. I might be too nice, but. I do. I think there's something beautiful in everyone, whether it's not, you know, because for every person out there, there's a match and there might be what you might consider ugly. Someone else might consider beautiful. Hey, Shrek, there you go. Shrek was a fucking movie, a, yeah, car a cartoon ogre. But, you gonna <laughs> but that ogre met another ogre and they found each other beautiful. And they, you know, that's what I'm saying, that there's everyone has something beautiful and somebody will find something beautiful in every person. Well, that's kind of cool to know because I woke up with some girls with like ogres before. <laughs> so I guess I guess you kind of have a point, <laughs> but maybe that's why I find Sarah Jessica Park attractive. <laughs> I don't, no, in, in all honesty here, and let me just get my words together. I, I think that that kind of poll is unfair because... Believe it or not, people, and I'm on, I'm on my soapbox right now. My feet are a little dirty. Amen. I, I, Hallelujah. I need, I need to get on my soapbox and wash my feet a little bit. Praise the Lord. No. Praise the Lord. Regardless of how shallow and callous I may come across in these reviews, sort of, that's sort of a persona. I really do think that women have enough problems with their self-image because of what we're putting out there in the oh, media. Yeah. And to sit up here and say that a woman who, I don't care what you say, she's fairly attractive. She's I mean, not, even if you don't like her face, she has a great body. And that's what paper bags are for. But no, I, I'm just no, really, I'm joking. I know, I, I can't, okay. I can't help it. I can't help right, it. I'm not, I'm not right. serious about anything, no matter how much I try to be. But I do think women have enough problems. And when we look at somebody like Sarah Jessica Parker, who I'm sorry, she is attractive. Okay, yeah, she's a beautiful girl. She's not in all these movies playing an attractive woman that guys that like for no reason at all. Okay, and for us to sit up there and judge her like that, first of all, it's 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 not right as a poll. It's just mean. I'm so proud of you, Corey. Well, I th I'm, I'm true. I think I think it's yeah, just me. I'm very proud of you that you would say something like that. But because, beyond that, because you know, most people think you're a sexist pig, and you're not. And, and, well, I am, but I can I can be fair <laughs> sometimes. I mean, it doesn't change how I am. But no, I think it, I I just I, it's a mean poll, no matter what, whether they did it with a guy or a girl. But when you get down to it, I think it's more detrimental to women. And now they're going to see this. They're going to think not even Sarah Jessica Parker is good enough. And the, and, and now what they're going to do? Who else was on that list, do you know? No, I don't know. I don't even care because that's bullshit. I mean, I, I'm a man. I love looking at pictures of women. But sometimes these man magazines and these blogs on the Internet and everything, they can be so full of shit because it's so easy to judge behind the scenes somebody to make yourself feel better. I know. Well, it was the whole thing like with Alicia Silverstone when they told her she was too fat for that uh, Batman costume, whatever, the, the Catwoman costume. Mm -hmm. She's not fat at all. No, she's but, not fat. You know, I mean, it, it's just society as a whole. They do all this stuff. I mean, you you, you see it every day. It's not right. You if as a woman, else, you as a woman, how do you feel about this poll? It, I, I, I think it's stupid, but I th I wouldn't put any anything into it because, you know what, if someone doesn't like me, I don't care. You see, know, that's I'm easy like, for whatever. you to say. You're a confident woman. I mean, I don't, I don't care if someone doesn't like me. I mean, like, why don't you like me? It okay? just, if then I that's, was, that's your choice. And if you don't find me beautiful, well, you know, that's their, that's their opinion. But, but I, I know yeah. who I am. And, and that, see, that's the thing with Sarah. I bet anything, she probably knows who she is and doesn't, you know, it might 
make her a little sad, but they're just saying she's not the sexiest woman. They're not saying she's not no, the she ugliest was, woman. She was she was voted the unsexiest, which in a way says ugly. No, th it, there's two totally different things. But even then, it, what kind of message? I, if I if I was a father and I had a daughter, it would just make my job that much more important to let them know that. You don't always be confident on what the media thinks right, about women. Exactly. I mean, you have to believe in yourself, and you have to look. You have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror, and that's a, a thing instilled, you know, from when you're a child. You know, like my mom used to always tell me how beautiful I was, and I believed her. Well, see, that's that's important. <laughs> no, but I'm, probably too much, but yeah. I know. Yeah. But yeah, you yeah. know, you do that with your children. You make them, you know, have a strong self-esteem and. It doesn't matter what anyone else says about me because I'm not going to listen to him anyway. I know who I am. I am confident with who I am, and I don't let anyone else bother me. That's that's great, Edie. That's that. I mean, that's. I know not everyone's like not that. Th the reality is, is that not everybody has that support that your parents gave, well, that, and that's true. And ma ma the majority of people, including myself to a certain extent, we're all very shallow. So I'm not I, shallow though, but see, that's I am. The thing. I, I, yeah, but I'm not, I mean, you know, I just don't care what other people's opinion of me is, you know, because I know who I am and the only person that matters is me. I know you said that and, I, and I'm, I'm glad you feel that way, but there's a lot of girls out there who don't have that support and they're going to be looking at this and it's just going to make them feel even shittier than they probably already do. And that's a terrible thing to be put out there. And I think it's awful. I, I'm not saying we're the most responsible people on this site because we do a lot of sexist, racist jokes and I, I and we who am I to tell anybody how to run their business? But I, I do think it should be. I would never. I would, I would never release I, anything. No, like that. I would. Well, I would never put up a poll on this site asking people to vote on this actor or actress being the uh, the ugliest or sexiest person in the world. I might do it for a man before I did it to a yeah, woman. Well, but I would never do that to yet. a woman. No, I just wouldn't. It's just it's wrong. Yeah. And I and what makes me even angry about it is that it really is a way for people to make themselves feel better about themselves and to, to take out their aggression on something that they can't have. There's a lot of guys who look at Sarah Jessica Park and they're saying, well, shit, I'm sleeping with this fucking pig in here. <laughs> I, 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 be, I would be so lucky to get a girl like Je Sarah Jessica Park. If I can't have that, I'm going to criticize it. <laughs> so I, that's all I got to say. Well, here's my two cents on that. All you women out there, go in the mirror, look at yourself, and just say I'm beautiful and I don't care what anyone else says. And don't put any, any thought into something like that because it doesn't matter. It's like a tabloid. You know, it doesn't matter. And if you ever go thinking that it matters, that's when it starts to matter. Okay. Well, wise so words from Edie. You know, and that's what I was, I mean, especially because there's a lot of little girls on this side. You know, you're beautiful in your own way, and don't ever let anyone tell you you're not. Hey. Because everybody has beauty in them. Well, well spoken, Edie. Look at Thank you. A message but brought I'm, to you by Edie. <laughs> hey, and why are you in the mirror, the girls? you know. Yeah, that's right. And girls, why are you in the mirror? Uh, raise your top. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you have age, though. I, your Uncle Corey, I don't care what you look like. Raise your top. <laughs> yes. Oh, that girl right there. Yes, you are beautiful. And you, you, you need some implants. But you over there. Corey. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That totally defeats I know. That that's you you, that's what I, you know that's me. That's your boy Ness coming out. I'm not okay. serious. No, I know. But, you know, honestly, don't ever let anyone tell you you're ugly. Don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do something. That's my, we I'm on my it. soapbox now. No, seriously. Always believe in yourself. And have the confidence to believe in yourself. And if you do, you can get anywhere in this I world. I believe the children are Look, I, am, I invaded the boys' club. Teach them well. I believed in Let myself. them lead the way. <laughs> Show them all the beauty they possess. Keep talking. Sexual Inside. chocolate. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> because the greatest <laughs> love of all is inside oh. of me. I was told long ago. Okay. <laughs> You're going to make me cough here. I'm just kidding. No, I, I actually like your singing. Here you go. No, I, that was terrible. Sexual chocolate. See, I, now that was a poll for the worst singer in the world. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's Corey. I would be on that, but I would know that. I've seen Corey. Too. I don't have my, I don't have my, I don't get my feelings. Okay, so either. what else is going on under your agenda? None of your goddamn business. No, let oh, me see. Psh, whatever. Let me see. What do we got going on here? All right. Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. Okay. Mm. See, he didn't give me his agenda before we started, or else I'd just move oh. into the next one. When uh, I told you I was going to tell you a little story about when I went to see Meet the Browns. Meet the Browns. Yes. I saw it when I was up in New York, and <laughs> there were no white people in the audience <laughs> none. at all. None. Are you I serious? saw one. Were you in Harlem? I looked. I looked. No, no, no. I was down in Times Square. 
Really? And, and there still weren't any there were <laughs> no. I think I think I saw one white person walk in and run right back out. <laughs> Popcorn was flying everywhere. But and then I looked like two rows up and I said, "Oh, there's one." And it was just a real bright dude with a, with a bald head. So there, there was no there were no black people in there. But and there of were course, no black people? as I said in my uh, as I said in the review, I saw the movie in Negro Vision. <laughs> the uh, our Neg Negro sound system, Neg yeah, Negro were, X. <laughs> you had THX. I saw it in Negro X. And they were screaming in the back. And they were talking through the whole movie. But it's okay when you walk into a, a theater full of black people, you know what you're getting into. Yeah. That's it. Kind of like what was that movie that we saw that we couldn't hear because people were talking behind us? Um, that well, Cat Williams, uh, the one that just came out. First Sunday? First Sunday, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had that in First Sunday. Everyone oh, yeah. was talking around us. No, it's a black movie. If you go into yeah. a black movie, I mean, unless <laughs> unless it's the uh, uh, Barack Obama story. So <laughs> if it's a black comedy or black drama, yeah. it's going to be some black people, especially the women. Mm -hmm. I, you, you damn right, girl. I mean, <laughs> women get mad. I'm scared of black women in these movies. I hide under the seat. <laughs> I listen to the, I just listen to the movie. I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> I, love that. I could totally see that, though. That would be funny. No, but, you know, I I haven't seen this uh, all of this movie yet. Well, when I went to see it, as I said, Negro X, full effect, everybody's talking. And it's, it, but there were moments where it died down and got quiet, especially after everybody just laughed, yeah. except for one guy in the theater. And I'm not lying about this. I'm not making up a story just to tell you this. Not really. No, I'm not. This is really happening. So it, w it would be like this. The, the crowd would laugh. And you hear this guy, and this is how it went. We're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. oh God! It was <laughs> shut up. No, there were about five serious. times the guy was in there. After it got quiet, oh God! And like I was disgust or or laughing. Like he was having a good time because oh. you could hear me. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and I was looking to see. I said maybe he's like having sex in his seat, or, <laughs> or maybe he's masturbating. I don't know. And I looked and. It was. It was. Idea. Not only was he into the movie, but he had a whole styrofoam plate of food. He was. Are you serious? So he brought in his own. He, he brought in his own food. He brought in his own <laughs> his own grub, and so either he was really loving his movie, <laughs> or he cooked something that was really <laughs> damn good. He made some special brownies. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Good. I mean, it was like uh, when Harry met Sally. I was like, I have what he's having. You know? <laughs> that was both of you talking about, oh, God. I was like, <laughs> I was going to say something, but I can't even say it. Okay. It's probably best you do keep it. Yeah, I was gonna you want to whisper it to me? Chicken? Oh, see. Oh, see I like the way me. you said, I can't say this. <laughs> Black people love fried chicken, but I shouldn't say that. Edie, you, well, you're full I of shit. I didn't you know? mean it like that. I was yeah, you joking did. with you. Yeah, you no, that, I was trying to be Cyrus for a second. <laughs> was in it was their fried chicken. <laughs> right. You, no, you know cool. you want to say that. All right, you got I'm it on out there. I'm just kidding. You no, know no, 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 no. You got it. <laughs> to give you a hard time oh let's see what else is it what are they up? blogging about oh uh no more fantastic four movies really? I'm, I'm all behind that yeah that's what the uh, the guy who played johnny torch i mean johnny torch johnny john whatever the human torch uh, johnny storm said yeah. uh what else they'll just replace there? him with someone else if he doesn't want to do it they'll replace him with someone else to come out with a movie in a couple of years uh, so hey, whatever. I, this is all yeah. I, this is all boring stuff. I don't want to read any of this news. What I do want to tell people about is that um, Cyrus and Leon are thinking about starting their own audio a show. A couple, well, this one will, will be called what will it be called? The League of Extraordinarily Ordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> and to make it different from this, I, I they were planning on doing this anyway, but I would like for them to concentrate more on comic book stuff. Mm -hmm. and superhero stuff and things of that nature, which is what their their specialty is. And that's what they were going to do anyway. Yeah. So they just got to get it worked out. We're going to get everything And then set me and co-hosts are going to come up with a show called, you know. Bullshit. No, yeah. you know. <laughs> we're going to just come up with a, a, just a rant and rave stuff if, if co-hosts will do it. If I can boot him up and break into the Spill Studios late at night, I'm all for it. Oh, this is what I want to talk about. <clears throat> Ian McKellen is going to be Gandalf in The Hobbit. Really? Yeah, yeah. Sir they, Ian. Mc yeah, he, I think yesterday he came out on on his on his official website. 
See, that's going to be cool. I like the Hobbit. I the think best a, of all the movies. No, I think Ian, uh, uh, Ian McKellen's website, uh, Gay Wizards, uh, what, <laughs> he said that he's going <laughs> to. That's Wizards. not, that's that's not Harry not. Potter. <laughs> no, this is, this is uh, I don't know what the name is. I guess it's IanMcKellen.com. But I think he announced on there that he's going to re be returning as Gandalf. So this will tie all this yeah, in. That would be cool. No, they, a lot of the fans were worried that they were going to make a movie that really went tie into the original Lord of the Rings series. Well, see, the thing is with that, he, you know, uh, Gandalf was old throughout the whole series. So, you know, even if he's old, it doesn't matter because it, it will look the same, even going backwards. What the? Oh, are you talking about he's so old you can't even tell when he's young anymore? <laughs> no, I meant the character was always old. I oh, mean, yeah. It, was, it wasn't like he play, he's playing like a 15-year-old Gandalf. Oh, no. no he, he's playing an older Gandalf. No, he didn't start out looking like Hugh Jackman or something and yeah. end up being Gandalf. So, yeah. Yeah, so no. yeah, no, he can go backwards. Yeah, he can go backwards. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, no, you're, you're exactly right about you that, and, and that's important. Yes, it is. Consistency. Because, yes, it is. You have to do that. That old motherfucker, you, ain't nothing you could do for him to make him look young. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe you could dye his beard brown or something. Yeah. But see, like, The Hobbit was my favorite of all the books. Wasn't that? That was my favorite that book, was too. That my favorite one. I, that, I loved that book. I, I liked it better than the rest of the series. I read the, maybe it's because I was so young, because I, I read the, uh, the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy when I was, I started when I was 11. It read, took me a while. I read through them until I was like 13 or 14. And I have to admit, I was kind of that, bored by it. That reading thing, you know. That reading thing. It, it, took, it took me a while. Even back then it was. <laughs> and, and the <laughs> Hobbit, 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 went Hobbit. to look for a room, no, ring. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It, took, it took me a while to get through the whole thing. But, no, but I really like that one. But though. the Hobbit, I read when I was, I read that when I was about, nine or ten and i read that book probably twice because they had a picture book that was out with it yeah there's a cartoon that came out the uh, rankin bass if anybody remembers that company they did the old rudolphs and whatnot a lot of you kids yeah. probably don't remember that you can see them on dvd now yes you can but go watch that cartoon of the hobbit man it's not comprehensive because it doesn't put everything in the book in there no but it's good it's good and i like that too that's why i read the book because we didn't have to read that book like a lot of schools now will have that as a book you have the required reading when i was in school it wasn't required to read and so, you know, I didn't read it till later on, you know, and I... At, at you point, can't read. <laughs> I read the subtitles to you in a movie. Women Corey. can't read. Oh or they shouldn't read. Anyway, <laughs> so I read it as a, you know, an older teenager. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed it. You know, I thought it was, I liked it the best. And then I read the other ones afterwards and I was like, yeah, they're okay. Really, all you kids out there who, I know they give you a lot of stuff to read in school and... A lot of it's dull and it's boring, but The Hobbit really is a, a great adventure. I, I would recommend that over the Lord of the Rings series. Yes, it's it's a great it's a great story. And it was very well written. It was no, it's yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a great it's, book. It's just a grand adventure. I mean, it's to me, it's one of the epitomes of the quest. Yeah. And yes. So, I, and if you don't like reading, like Corey, go watch the cartoon. <laughs> okay, I didn't read it. I saw the cartoon. <laughs> I had I had the picture book with the record. That's <laughs> back when they had records. The records over the books. Kids, yeah. there, there used to be these 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 books that came with records, and you listen to the record, and every now and then they to turn the page. If you're too yeah. stupid to turn on your own, they gave you a cue. Bing. And and Bilbo went to boom, take a shit. <laughs> turn the page here to see Bilbo take a shit. So so yeah, yeah I had one for Peter and the Wolf. Of, of one of those things. I love that one. That's stupid. It was a good one. Hey, it was a, I think, actually, I think, was it Vincent Price or someone that read it? Vincent Price read no, Peter and the Wolf? Maybe, was it Vincent Price? I know it was someone big. God, I haven't listened to it since I was a kid. <laughs> But I think I know it was someone who's popular now. I can't remember it, but he did Peter and the Wolf. And, and the wolf it. ate Peter. And <laughs> 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 did like thriller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck. funny. Okay. So okay. let's go. There's something I want to talk about. What do you want to talk wanna about wait. before we get to emails? Okay. I want to talk about what? this party thing. Oh, if that's right. If we're really going to do it or not. Edie, okay, you've been hyping. All, I got a bone to pick with you right now well, because you know you've been you've been ra uh, rabble rousing people. I totally, I want a party. And, and I can't throw no parties out of the blue. I know. No, I'm not talking about now. I if you do read what I put in my groups, and well, no, you don't because you never go to my group. Read your shit. But in my group itself, I said, everyone, tell all your friends we need to get about a hundred thousand members, and then we can do a spill across America tour. I will tell you what. 
and this will be cause for celebration. What are we at now? We're 5,000 something members. Yeah, almost 6,000 members. Uh, when we, this may take a little bit, and we'll see how it grows, but when we definitely reach 10,000 people, there will be a party. There will? Yeah. There will be a party. Hey, 10,000 people. You hear it from me now. And I'm going to get in trouble for this. but <laughs> <laughs> We're going to throw it in the spill studio. So My bosses are going to be like, what the fuck did you tell these people there for? But 10,000 members. If we can get 10,000 members in an ample amount of time, that would be good enough reason to throw a party. I think so. I, you're more optimistic than I said 100,000. I said that's what it was going to take. <laughs> what, do you want to wait for six years or something? <laughs> and we're going to be 70 years I mean, old. We'll, we'll, yeah, hey. we'll be ready then, sure. <laughs> Let's talk about Jaws 58. I mean, know? who knows? I mean, 100,000. Thousand, if if within a couple of years, it's not an impossibility. Yeah, no, no. it's not. But that's we're talking about a couple of years now. Ten thousand members. That's if a we months, tell yeah. your friends, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the dog. <laughs> Say habla español, yeehaw. No, if you <laughs> if uh, you can tell your your friends and everybody get together and join up to say we get ten thousand members. We're going to do a membership drive, too. I don't know how it's going to happen, but we're going to give some good prizes away. I think we should have a spill street team. Okay. Have you ever heard of those? Well, go, go out in the street then. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Have you ever heard of I know what street teams? teams are. I think we need to get someone in every city to go and have their own street team and go outside the movie theater and just pass out flyers saying, here, go check out this site. That's in the works. That's right. in the works somehow. We, we, we haven't thought we can of the logistics of it first. We T-shirts with, you know... With, with your with face the, on it. We're thinking something. about just getting uh, crack whores in every city to work for cheap and wear our shirts and go around <laughs> and pass the fact. Well, all we have to do is go to Vegas for that. It, no, those are the high price ones. We're talking about no, stone I'm cold, nasty ass crackheads. You know crack how they ass. pass out those flyers in Vegas? Oh, yeah, Vegas. with the, with the with little. The, yeah, yeah, everything. No. I have the big spill face. Speaking of which, for South by South, well, I'll touch on that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, if we can get 10,000 members. Now, what I want to know is this is worldwide, right? Mm -hmm. The site. So, what location? would be good for everyone. I know that we have offices in New York and we have offices in London. Maybe we could throw two parties. I don't know. I'm all for it. Just let me know ahead of time so I can get my cartoon. But, uh, I mean, would L.A. be a good place to go? Would, where would people be willing to fly to? Would people come to Austin? Uh, Austin people come here for South by Southwest. Would we get some members who would actually fly here to Austin? I, I want, I want, let me know. We got a little while to go, but you yeah. tell me how it should go. You tell us yeah, how it should I, go. I have it on my, you can go to my group page. I have, if th uh, spilled through a party, would you come? And I have, a, I have two discussions started about You have this. two people on there, too. I go. No. <laughs> no actually, I've gotten a lot and of responses on it. And one of them is you. No, actually, I got a lot of responses on it. Okay. Uh, people ask me. Okay. Go to my Go to my group page and then just let us know. Me and Corey will I'll, I'll just I'll throw them to him and say, hey, look, these people go. But somebody also brought up a, a good point that what? I saw. There's a lot of kids on this site, too. No, there's tons of yeah, kids on this I site. Know. That's why I feel kind of bad when I come out here and talk like I do. Yeah, I'm with you, you know, but they're like, yeah, we want to go. You know, I'll ask my parents if we can go. You know, bring your family. You know, make it a family affair. Who no, cares, it would be. Know? Maybe it'll be like a big picnic. We'll have it outside, and it'll yeah. be and uh, we'll show a movie or something. Yeah, like yeah, and then we'll when show, and then when the orgy starts, yeah, your yeah. kids got to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe maybe we can make it uh, some something for the kids. Early in the day, and, and maybe something, something for. for maybe we just brainstorm. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. I <laughs> am a good party coordinator. All I know is I'm about to get in trouble for making these promises. I, 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 well, and I didn't make any promises, but I'm not, throwing stuff We're not out promising there. anything, but believe me, I've told Corey we need to throw something to a uh, customer appreciation type of. A customer appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate no. you, people. You should appreciate no. me. You know what I do for you? And <laughs> the other thing I got asked a lot about is are you ever going to come out with any spillware? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, because I, I keep on getting questions about that. I was That's working on it, and things have gotten so busy. I, I have to not only work on the site, but now I'm designing stuff for I, – I don't, I don't want to get – look, nobody wants to hear all this, but busy. I'm not – he is busy. I'm Believe not me. trying to hold back on anything because – Corey I'm was up till 10 a.m. this morning mm -hmm. working on the site. I thought you were going to say he was up till 10 a.m. touching himself. No. No. <laughs> no, you were. I mean, I know that – Corey's been doing a lot because he is one of our – Okay, no, it's no big deal. I'm, everybody knows I'm busy. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want you to brag about how busy I am or anything because it's just I have designed some stuff. It's on the way. It really is on the way. And I know I've been promising this over and over again. I thought I was at the brink of having them finished, really? and then something else would come up. So yeah. it, it is my fault. I've been promising yeah, stuff that I can't deliver. Th on. This one is your fault, not mine. Oh, we're just going to blame you. No, in. no it's your fault. If you hadn't been throwing up the other night and drunk. Shut up. I was not throwing up. You know what up. you did? I was designing those shirts when you called. Oh, yeah, right. 
and, and I had to talk you home, and I couldn't <sighs> yes. work on the shirts anymore. I know. So, Edie, okay. damn. You know. Thank you for harassing me, Corey. Okay. All right. Anyway. So but that's that's besides the point. But okay, so eventually they will come out. That's all. They, that's all I want to say. They um, will be there. Okay. They they are on the way. Okay. Now let's get to some emails because I know we've been talking for a while. Yeah. Well, I'm <coughs> Any special email? Let's I'm get it. So much I can't read. Did oh, someone God. send you a love note? Oh, of course. I can't read those though. Oh. <laughs> Corey, I left my underwear at your, at your house. house. <laughs> Please send them back. Could you? Pl- I really need those panties back. My boyfriend will find out. No. I'm <laughs> Let me see here. There you go with that fucking phone again. Sorry. I told you. I turned it off. I thought I turned it off completely. Okay. Here's a question that I'm asked a lot from people. And this is from Ace. And Ace says. Hi, Ace. How are you doing? <laughs> Edith says hi. Is it possible for you to get up the audio for some of the older stuff? Like Casino Royale or heck, anything. I'm sure you've been asked this a million times, so I'm sorry if this is a rather annoying message. No, it's not. And I thought this was leading to, into something else, but it's apparently I read it wrong. There are some older reviews that we've done that I have to go back and check on because the links are broken to them. Or no, no. Casino Royale was actually the first review that we did for Spill when okay. it started. back when, it, when, Phil, when Spill. Is it in uh, the same place that Bratz is? No, it was before Bratz. It was <laughs> when, when Spill unofficially launched. Uh-huh. Casino Royale was the first test review that we put up, so that's probably why it's not up. But there's people also also asking if we could do reviews for old movies, yeah, seventies and back. I would be happy to do those. Well, I, I've seen a lot of movies in my time. We've actually had a lot of people offer to do things. I mean, we're, we're working this out. We can't have we can't assign anybody really anything at the moment because. We're signing deals and whatnot right now, so this yeah. it's not good to to put anybody in, in a certain position yet. Right. But as soon as things get more leveraged out, that's one of the things we've talked about. But there's so many movies coming out. I know. See, that's the problem though, that people don't understand. There's so many movies, and there's only six of us. Yeah, there's only six of us, and really, <clears throat> in production, there's only like unlimited, very li- there's only about three people. Yeah, and it <laughs> so. takes a, a about 15 hours to do it, it, 10, it varies it, four, it varies a long time. It, it takes a long time so right now resources are scarce but we're becoming a little more flush so we probably will be able to do some more stuff as we uh, later on as, down the road as it's, we go on. it's a good suggestion and we are listening okay email number two if i can find it what the hell i do with it Corey, did you mess up i did there believe it or not as hard as it is to believe that even i Corey coleman oh, no. the great immortal <laughs> Corey coleman is a piece of paper <laughs> <laughs> it's probably it's not paper it's on a computer here i know threw me off okay, okay. So what's next this comes from matt i actually answered matt personally but hi matt how are you doing tonight <laughs> but matt is uh well here i'll just read it matt says i'm in the ninth grade and i really enjoy films I enjoy making films so much that this summer I'm going to the New York Film Academy. I know I can get good. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. Don't be like me and can't read. No, I know I can get good grades if I try, but I'm currently not doing all that well. I was just wondering if you got good grades in your high school and what you think I should do. And again, that's from Matt. I told Matt, (laughs) everything comes with passion. Yes. And I'm not even bullshitting you. This is going to sound corny. And Matt, you already heard this because I wrote you back. But if you are passionate about what you want to do, everything's going to fall into place. You're going to do whatever it takes to get there. Yeah. If it's grades, you're going to do it. If you in co- if you're in competition, you're going to do it. If you just like doing it, you're going to do it no matter if somebody wants you to do it or not. If you're not getting paid, you're going you you're going to do it. Right. Look at you know. I mean. Don't you say me. Don't use me no, as that. No, You've been no, bragging on me too much. I no, don't. I'm not even going to talk about you, but I'm saying there's a lot of people out there that didn't get, get good grades that are very big filmmakers. Now, that's not saying don't get good grades. School is a very important thing mm-hmm. to have, and it's really good to have that insight of an education behind you. I mean, I went to college. I, you know, it, it, it's just it's better to do that. And well, it's I was in college to too. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's better to concentrate on school and everything. But there's people like Quentin Tarantino out there who dropped out of, what, junior high, high school, whatever, and, and he's still big, you know. So if you – don't fail, but if you have something that you're very passionate about, it doesn't matter what happens, yeah. you're going to do it. Just, it doesn't matter. 
I tell you what my biggest peeve is, uh, Matt, and this is what I tell people. Just don't be a talker. Yeah, be <laughs> you, a doer. Yeah, if you're going to sit up here and talk about if you're the type of person that sits up there and talks about, oh, I'm going to make this movie, and it's been three years down the line and you haven't done it, <laughs> then, th yeah, I think that th th you have more to worry about there. But if you really want to do this, everything's going to fall into place. And if you're good, and especially with you being, what, you're probably 15 now, if you build that passion right now and, and you start making films and you do it productively as much as you can, by the time you're 18, 19, 20, you're going to be, you, if, you, if you do go to film school, you're going to be one of those people that's probably going to be heads above everybody else in the class. Yeah, that's true. But don't forget your education is very important because if you go and talk to some executive and he looks at you and you can't even carry on a conversation with him because you don't have the <laughs> education of an eighth grader, they're going to laugh at you. So yeah. you have to have that education too. You no, know? Uh, Matt, I, I, I would love to tell you, if, as an artist, you could probably get by without school and all that kind of stuff, but I got some dumbass friends, man. <laughs> <laughs> these Negroes can't read. <laughs> some of these dudes out here, they were destined to work uh, the bathroom at McDonald's. I mean, that's, that's how they are. And they, they ain't going nowhere. So, of course, I'm going to tell you to concentrate on your education, but just – Stay passionate. Find find a way to ha find a happy medium between both of them. Yeah, yeah. Just be creative, though. Keep going at it. If you want to talk about it, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> talk to me. I'm a loser. You don't, don't, don't listen to what I say. <laughs> I can read, so talk to me. Anyway, go ahead. What's the next thing? Uh, this is from Russell. Russell says. Hi, uh, Russell. Uh, I love this. You, could, I, I forget <laughs> to say hi. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the rude one here. You're so nice. Oh, uh, Russell says, upon watching your review of the latest Tyler Perry movie. Oh, this is the Tyler Perry movie. It made me pose a question to you. How do you feel about all these bad black movies that have come out lately? Do you think we, so I guess Russell's black too, do you think we don't give a shit anymore? Or are we just beginning to settle for these terrible movies because they are black movies? And Russell, I think, and you, you, you're, you're, you're Afro-Cuban, right? <laughs> now, what are you again? <laughs> I'm Hispanic, not okay. that it matters. Well, but you're yes, brown. I'm, okay, I'm, so you can weigh on this a little I'm bit. I'm olive skin color. <laughs> uh, Russell, that's a good point. We I, we do settle for less a lot of times, I believe. I think that's changing, but we've been so... Damn, the computer cut off after an hour. You know, it starts <laughs> recording. So, Russell, where was I? Oh, yeah, black people is ignorant. No, it's not. No. No, it, Did it get at the part I said about the roots? and? No, we got, it got all that. I'm okay. just saying that things are changing a little bit. But we've been so accustomed to, I believe, now this is my own theory, I think we've been so accustomed to seeing black exploitation, that being... Uh, hey, some of those movies are good. Though. No, some of them are good, but it's a thing that... Back in the, the 70s? It, it's, no, it's, yeah, back in the 70s and Foxy a little Brown. bit in the 80s. It was, but that's what we get the imagery of because that's, what, that's what's marketed. We, we market, Hollywood likes to market probably the most extreme images of us because that's what brings people in. And we like to excuse it by saying, Oh well, we're people who laugh at our own pain. We're people who we've we've learned to uh, to adjust to the stereotypes and make them our own. But it's also become a, a problem because we excuse something like soul playing, which is not laughing w with ourselves anymore. We're laughing at ourselves, and everybody else is looking at us and laughing at us too. Well, you know what? You guys aren't the only ones that are doing that. What are you talking about? Did Latino? you see Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But see, but they do the same thing on on several fronts. You know, they they do have those stereotypes. And it, well, it, white people can afford to have that though, because it's not. And believe me, I'm not trying to say oh, I'm against white people or anything. No, it's white people. They have a wide range of representation in the media. Minorities have a very limited uh, representation in the media. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 it's something that we really need to go back and look at because I think that there's an element of self-loathing that we don't even recognize there. So I think that's why I'm not too hard on Tyler Perry movies. No. Because they, fi he, we're finally, they, they might be with bad scripts, but we're finally bringing a images of, of romance. We're finally, we're finally bringing in messages of, of, as you say, of being strong. Of being responsible, family, value, fa uh, family values and stuff like that. Because a lot of his films, even the, even the one, what was the the one where the girl was getting beat up? Which Tyler Perry one was that? Was um, that Diary of a Mad Diary Black Woman? Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Man, that movie is so badly written, but I love that movie. Uh, 
But you know what? It still showed strength, showed power. Even though she was getting beat up, she left, and you know, and th- th- that's a good image to have. You yeah. know, don't put up with crap anymore. And we, and it's it, it it needs to get to a point where we see black couples in true romances, not not in not in a comedic romance, not, not like in, I think I love my wife, not in a turbulent romance or anything like that. We need to see. Serious in terms of endearment uh, in between thing. two black people, yes, and that's that's something that if you really know, go back and look at, it's very very minimal, in 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 in, in movies. Mm, yeah. Uh, as of even, I mean, over the past ten years. So. Yeah, but there there's a lot of movies out there that are good, like Color Purple. You know. Again. But it's a movie. It, but, it, you know what it does. But like, it shows the other. I mean, it shows. But it, you can say the same thing with Spanish films. There's a lot of them out there that you know are so you stereo- pro- stereotypical. What, well, yeah, but but again, you have Univision. You know, you have you have much represent. You have a whole fucking country <laughs> represent. Yeah, Russell, we have a lot of shitty movies coming out because that's what that's that's what we as a people expect, and that's what we want to see. Oh, I thought was buzzing, boy. See, um, it wasn't only it me. Was, it was my phone. No, my phone does this thing when it gets near the computer equipment. That, I just bought an iPhone. This phone is it, is, it freaks out my equipment over here. Did you hear that? It's like, yeah, I know. like like the computer it growled like at the phone. It was like it, it's a Chinese girl getting out. <laughs> hey, it's a Chinese girl coming out to use my phone. I gotta call somebody. I'm <laughs> going full circle there. I'm <laughs> going No, uh, uh, no, it's Russell. Just to wrap this up, I think it's getting better. And but we as a people, we. It's up to us to produce better movies as well as educate Hollywood on what we want or what we need to see about ourselves. And the way of doing that is not going to the film. If it's a bad film, don't go and see it. Boy, you know? And then if you don't, they don't make the money, then they're going to they're gonna stop uh, making those films. I wish that would happen. I don't see that happening anytime soon. But I do think you have more voices out there. Somebody like me who's doing this. And again, this isn't this isn't this is not blowing my own horn here. But this is why I did this mainly because. Years ago, it was very limited voices out there, like uh, people uh, from people like me. Yeah, or me. Are you? Yeah, who who were able to get these kind of opinions out there? Yeah, it's true. So I think uh, I think the more you go along, you're gonna have people like me. You're gonna have people like like Elvis Mitchell, who uh, is a, is a famous black critic, and I think and, and writer. And you're just gonna have a lot of different representation from a lot of different people, mm-hmm. even within the white community, disenfranchised people. You'll hear about. I mean, yeah. you're gonna get a lot of different voices. Thanks yeah. to thanks to the to the new technology we have. God damn, that was long winded. Anyway, <laughs> um, and finally, there's an email from Sean Griffin. Sean, your email was so damn long. He he's making a DVD. This uh-huh. guy, Sean Griffin, he wants to get some, certain people in the Spiel community to contribute and collaborate with him that's cool I, yeah I'll, I'll pass it along i'm not saying that you should do this he's just asking and i said i'd, I'd read it for him and well i'm not gonna do it because it's too long but can send me a <laughs> condensed email of this because what you sent me was a fucking uh, magazine article <laughs> it was like a book <laughs> so sean send me something shorter send and him I would, something like green eggs and ham yeah go to, words or less sean griffin s-h-a-w-n griffin like Peter Griffin from the family. Yeah. So go to his discussion group if you want to figure out what he's doing or look him up. And, Sean, I'll read it next week if you can wait that long. Or you know what you should do, Sean? Go to the group for the writers on Spill. There's a group there that's uh, uh, the people who are, are writers. And go to that side, and maybe somebody there will read it for you and give you some no, don't do yeah. that. Half those people can't write. No, <laughs> no, actually, they're doing a contest on that on that group. Have you seen that? Man, what are you what are you guys doing out there? They're doing a contest. If they they're giving you like um, a sentence, and um, you're supposed to come up with a story in 500 words or less. Are people actually doing it? Yeah. Man, are you spillers you out there. I gotta. They, there's all sorts of things going on while you're over here working in the what's basement. What's going you know? on underfoot? <laughs> I know, but seriously, they're doing a contest, you know. And I read some of the stories; they were pretty cool. Well, My name was in one of them. Yours wasn't. Jeez, you motherfuckers might be building a bomb. For all I know, <laughs> <laughs> I better check on you guys. See what you're doing. <laughs> there's gonna be little things what popping up that we don't know about. Might be creating a Cloverfield monster. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. And and on a side note here, I want to tell you guys something. For everyone that wrote me emails, I am sorry I haven't responded to anybody, but uh, there was a power surge in my house. Well, damn, Edie, you pay your bills. Hey, no. Power surge. <laughs> the power surge that man no. come behind your house and flipping Dude, that switch. Shut up. There was a power surge in my house, and, and I had to see one of those little strip things. It didn't matter. Now I, it won't recognize my hard drive. So I'm having to go and 
fix that. If any of you computer savvy people out there have some information on how to fix that, I think no. Seriously, I think I know. I think I know how to fix this. Do you? D yeah. Uh, no. Seriously, does your, does your phone work? Yes, my phone works. Okay. Uh, pick it up and dial the electric company Shut and tell me you want to. <laughs> Shut up, whatever. It's not even anything like that. No, but, but for real, it's like it. my hard drive, it says does not recognize okay. hard drive. All right. So well, if anyone knows how to fix that in a simple hey, way. No, don't listen. Take your shit to the shop like everybody else. It might be something so simple and uh, save me 30 bucks. You guys, you know. So, no disrespect to anybody on this site, but you're going to get somebody telling you something. You're going to blow your shit up. No, they like me. They don't, they don't like you. They like me. They won't be mean to me. I'm nice to you, and I'm trying to save you right now. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, you're going to get some advice. They're going to say, do this, do this, and do this. You're going to well, cut the switch know. on. Kaboom. <laughs> not only do you not have bomb, yeah, you're not going to Not only okay. will you be out of a, out of a computer, but you're going to be out of a house, <laughs> maybe even a head. <laughs> no. I know people won't steer me wrong. I know you guys love me and you'll help me. I love not, you. You know, I'm working on the laptop right now, but I need to get my, my desktop get your ass up. together. Because that has all the, the, the dirt on there. It has, you know, the Corey. All your pornography. The Corey pictures, you know, black, black that you, male pictures. You that know, you look that at stuff. every night before you go to bed. All the black male pictures I have of him, I can show you guys someday. Well, no. technically, they're black male just by me being in there. I am black and I am a male. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> If you couldn't tell already. I'm trying to yeah. prove it to you, Edie. So anyway, Edie, we got to get out of here. Yeah, it's, I know. It's we got to go. We I, got, I got things to do. Oh, man. You got things to do. I got things to do. I know. Had things to do last Tuesday. I had things you... to do all day. I've been waiting on you all day. Hey, yeah, that's another thing you forget to mention to them. What? We were supposed to meet at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Edie, I didn't get up until 3. Why? I because I don't go to bed like 1030 this morning. I know. And I did. I was calling him all day. I'm all like, damn it, Corey, I told... answer your phone. Edie, one of the things, and I, I'm not saying that I'm too busy for people, mm -hmm. but if you don't catch me in that window of opportunity. I know. No, I didn't even say that. I can't even, see, I can't even see the word opportunity. That's how much of it I don't have. <laughs> I know. If you don't catch me in that window of opportunity, you, it's going to be, the schedule's just going to be thrown off. You know, and the thing, the good thing about with me and Corey, we have the most fucked up schedules. Excuse my language here, but oh, we do. How could you say that? I know, the children. I know, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Please forgive me. We have Drinking most, enough, cussing. <laughs> we have the most messed up schedules, you know. Oh, us recording at 2 o'clock in the morning, with the exception of the neighbor, you know, sometimes is normal. You yeah, know? no, I, and I told you, I had to go down to the basement to record sometimes. I know, I'm, I know, I'm, I was there. I that's right. No, We're I, not in the basement today, obviously, and the co-host is not here. Yeah, exactly. But no. I'm going to get together with him and see if he wants to start a little forum, uh, just a uh, talking thing. All right, Edie, I had enough of you. I know. I don't want to hear you anymore. I know. All right, get get your shit together. And, uh, I'm out of Everybody, here. Uh, this has been a couple of cold ones this week with Corey and Edie. Uh, next week, Carlisle will be sure to be back. Is he coming back? He's right? coming back, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah he, but our schedules have been weird, so. Yeah, yeah. I understand. At Easter, it happens. Yeah. Okay, you got your shit? I got my Okay, get out. I got my stuff. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Now, put your pants on outside of the house. I don't, I don't need you here no more. Go on. <laughs>